What's cracking, super hackers? I am the super hack bro, Alexander Byte, and this is the Born to Play Lounge. Born to Play Disney Mirrorverse. I've already taken it upon myself to uh, get nice and acclimated with the game so that I have a real good grasp of what the game is about as well as a um, much more confident, yes, I love this game, yes, I love this game. So, with that being said, let's jump into a gaming experience here. Let's jump into some gameplay. Start off with your three teams. You know, you pick your three from your collection of uh, Disney characters. As you see, I have a nice amount here. We're not gonna get into that, but we're gonna just jump straight in. I'll be in control of Aladdin, starting levels. Section. Yeah, I have been spending a lot of time buffing my characters in like the events and whatnot. So. so we push them into other modes. We'll get a better idea of like how the computer can be quite troublesome. Story mom, I'm 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 over buffed for the story mode. <clears throat> That's mainly because I've been working on getting my favorite characters leveled up while also potentially preparing to make my first in that purchase in the game. So you know, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second here too. Let's do another one just so you guys can get a better another another look at it. Let's look at some quick gameplay before we go into the bones of it all. Uh, this is, you know, we can actually we can use my actual. This is my actual favorite favorite uh, lineup here. This is what I use when I play every other mode. But when, while I'm doing the story mode, I pretty much use. I don't even know why I have Sully on there. I pretty much use my strongest crew just to be as strong as possible. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna continue that trend. I don't know why I had Sully on the team last time. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe it was a challenge where it said have Sully in the group, but the bigger group or something. Whack him. So that's cool. I like the little swipe. If you swipe and hold, you will do a dash. It's really good to get you out of tight spots. Certain characters like Aladdin, uh, who are attackers, melee based characters. He's a melee based character, but he's also like, probably like, an, you can put him like an assassin. Because um, if you attack with Aladdin from behind, you get a, a bonus, a, a, um, a damage bonus. And a lot of his attacks, like his special ability, Gives him a, um, also gives him a, uh, a buff, uh oh, the uh, ignore buff, so he's definitely like the, uh, the assassin type of thing. And I like it a lot because there's four different classes, you have your, uh, no, there's three. Yeah, there's four. The colors are red, yellow, blue, and green. And it pretty much translates to uh, support, melee, defense, and ranged. But each, each class has like subclasses. Like I just said, for Aladdin, who's a melee character, but his subclass will be like a um, assassin. Right, so what I mean by there are subclasses is let's go on ahead and go back because now it's time we can talk about the game a little bit since we've seen a little bit of gameplay. That's Buzz Lightyear right there. 
He's I, I have him unlocked, I believe. I have his character, I think. Uh, so some sub small subclasses that go to the guardians, okay? And let's go to the filter and let's sort it by all the melees here, okay? So, like I was saying, each melee, these are all my melee characters, okay? These are the ones I have unlocked, and then the grayed out ones are all the ones I do not have yet. Alright, so here are all the ones I have unlocked. Aladdin, like I was saying, is more of like a ninja stealth class. Uh, Ariel, she's gonna be more of like your um, Lancer. You know, I don't really know what those classes are typically called. Well, you usually have like the lances and the halibuts and whatnot, but that's what she is. She's more a knight. She's like a knight. She's like a uh, like a like a range melee knight kind of. Uh, you have Rapunzel, who's got like the short range blunt. She's a blunt. She she wears she uses blunt we weapons like a barbarian uh, kind of deal. Uh, then you have um, Anger, who uses a silk sword, kind of like a he's a, he uses a sword, but he's also small, and he uses like his anger and whatnot to boost itself up like a like a dwarf class kind of deal so you know mulan and she's she's pretty badass too she's like melee melee base she's like a like a like a soldier like a soldier class she uses both weapons and her special attack as you saw when i was fighting her shadow version uh she her her blade spin around her quick causing damage and whatnot and then so forth and so on captain hook is a melee guy as well but he uses a sword like a reaper so he's more like a um like a fencer class or a uh what do they call that job in uh, final fantasy a lancer i want to say or something like that uh, a musketeer something like that you know but um let me move this to this side because it's kind of way over there but uh yeah so each class has its own has subclasses and whatnot and that's just the melee characters you know that's just my melee characters there's like i said the guardian characters where you have the big ones the big the big big tanks you know you got the big tanks and then you got like the genie kind of tanks and then you have the sully kind of tanks the defenders the ones that do like a lot of defense fortification and the genie does like he's harder to knock down and stuff like that and he floats as well so there's a lot there's a lot going on in this game <laughs> because like i said the genie floats and that's because of his um where is it everyone also has okay so everyone also has is in their bio okay traits everyone also has traits each individual character also has traits genie is tall he's a goofball he's a shapeshifter and he's gravity defiant so those traits also make him either harder to knock down or in some cases easier to knock down vice versa you know so even their traits play a part in how you play them when you go out into the battlefield you know uh there's milestones talents of course everyone has talents and all that good stuff a lot a lot of things are so explanatory if you play enough rpgs especially mobile rpgs where you have to build characters and constantly draw new characters and have all these different reasons why you're going to want to play with every single character at some point but yeah they're they're disney characters from across the disney multiverse as you see i have a lot of them unlocked so far but there is still a ton like not a ton more to go but a nice amount more to go um i was hoping that there was a third Aladdin character, but as far as yeah, not yet. So there is not a third Aladdin character yet. So, you know, I'm waiting for them to release a third Aladdin character, but currently right now, like I said, I was debating on making my first mobile purchase on this game. I was thinking about let's go to the store here. Was thinking about this purchase here, one of my favorite Disney characters. Just thinking about this guy here, snatching up the four star uh, um, genie, you know, and that be like, like like the only purchase just so I can have a really badass character and something that I really enjoy to have because I love Disney characters. And a big part of this game is obviously collecting Disney characters. And let's be honest, if you had a big enough, nice enough, sexy enough collection, there are digital collectors out there who would pay a pretty penny for your game file if you had a pretty sexy amount of characters, especially if they were beefed up and leveled up and whatnot. There's collectors out there like that, you know, low-key NFT collectors, like low-key original NFT collectors. You know, but uh, yeah. So I'm 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 debating. It's a big debate. I got 22 days. I had 34 days. So I've been playing the game for about 12 days straight now. Uh, and I'm it's it's a big it's a big debate. I'm I'm really considering it. Um, but I'm also hoping that in in that time, you know, he either goes up for sale in here where I can use the crystals that I've been slowly collecting, or you know, uh, 
I unlock him in something over here, which I'm about to do. I get, you know, I got a, uh, for 800, I get 10 glowing crystals. And I got 9,800 of uh, those things that I need for. So that's 10 crystals there pretty much. I purposely saved all. I say I held on to those for this uh, video here, for the video here. Uh, you know, um, the bazaar. Go ahead and click that right now while I'm at it too. Oh, dang it, I forgot to look at everything. But keep on doing any of that stuff, but I don't though. No, no, no. Well, you know, I kind of, no, that's okay. The stardust, I can't really afford anything there just yet. Here I can, you know. Um, there's not really anything I want here. Uh, and I don't really know when the when it changes to, to new ones yet. But there's not really anything I want much of here. Daffy Duck and Goofy is cool, but I don't really... Like, we know who I want. <laughs> the genie if, if you weren't paying attention i want i want genie uh like i said yeah i have i'm gonna i'm gonna get those in a second here let's try to let's try let's try to do every, let's do everything else first let's collect everything else and then we're gonna open up those 10 crystals and then we'll jump back into the games but we'll jump into a game mode where i'm actually trying to progress in because I'm, I'm playing a story but not 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 so much more so i am like grinding the level up right now trying to level up my favorite characters as high as possible to the point that it's like okay cool now i'm going to just run through some of these towers and whatnot so let's just you know open up all of our crates and we got a crystal to open there um we'll we'll get our other 10 here let's match up those 10 all right, we still got about almost 2,000 left. We're not gonna spend it on any of these here. We may need it. We may need it. So now we've got 11 shards, uh, or 11 crystals. Go ahead and crack that open. We're actually, wait a minute, let's collect that. You never know, my good crystal hiding in there. Tis not, all right. Let's open our 11 shards and let's open our 11 crystals and see what we get, shall we? It's always fun to do a little thingy open five i want to open all ten i want to open five at a time Ooh. all right let's see all right we got the evil queen we've already got her we already have a three star version of her so that just goes to making her potentially stronger in the future all right yeah open, open the five right here. All right, we already have Eve as well. We have that as a two star. Cool as well. Right, we got him again. He just evolved to a two star. Cool, cool. Got another one of the Ursulas. Wonderful. Got another genie. Hit us with it. Ugh, one star. Come on. <sighs> got another one of the anger. All right, cool, cool. Playing me on the gene, they they know, they know, you know, the microphones and all that good stuff. Listening, like, oh, blue, nice. We just got a new blue, one star, but we just got a new one. Genie, ah, oh, come on, y'all teasing. They, I swear, they teasing hard. They are teasing me hard with the genies. Because if I can at least get Genie to three stars, then he'll be strong enough to put on my main team for, and just leave him on the team, regardless of how many stars I got. Because right now, my strongest one is uh, 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 Maui. And his level, even, he's like eight levels lower than, eight or eight, eight to ten levels lower than Genie, but still stronger than Genie. Because Genie's only a two star, and Maui's a four star. And even, even. Even Sully, who was a three star, is stronger than Genie, who was a two star. And he's also a lower level than Genie by like almost 10 levels. So, and with Genie, like I said, being my favorite one, you can see why I would want to be like, I want Genie. And I want him to be as strong as the rest of my team. This is the team that I use regularly. But they be playing me, as y'all can see. They be playing me. Oh, okay, so Genie is stronger than Sully now, but as you see, just barely. Just barely. Barely. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the new guy. Baloo. 
There you go, just to get rid of that notification up there. Boom. Alright, let's see. Let's get into some battles here. And once again, let's keep let's keep working on actually let's Ooh, wait, no, no, there's a new event. So we can get some more of those crystal things, and then maybe we can unlock one of the big crystals. I don't think we'll be able to though. But still, regardless, we got a new event here, the uh, hopeful heroism. So let's see how far we can get here. And yeah, we're gonna use that team too. We're using we're using the team of Sorry, skipping it. If you wanna read it? You gotta no spoilers. You gotta go see it for yourself. Uh, I'll take him on and put Jimmy on. Let's see where the special stuff here encounters. All right, affects guardians, royalty guardians receive a thirty percent attack buff for eight seconds when they are healed. All right, affects guardians each time royalty support guardians. I wonder do I have any royalty on my team? I don't think I do right now because I definitely Latin it wouldn't count, especially if I have street rap version of Latin. <laughs> yeah, so nope, no royalty on the actual current squad. I do have royalty characters though because I have uh, Ariel Maui. I don't think he would count as royalty. I don't know why, but I have like a few Disney princesses. I have three, four, four like five Disney princesses and a few Disney queens six princesses I have a bunch seven I have a bunch of Disney princesses so I have I have a load of royalty but as you see I have not leveled them up at all so there will be no match for this squad so we're gonna go in with the squad we have been using along and try to get us some Now my goal is to try to, when I'm using Aladdin, my goal is to always try to get behind whoever I'm attacking. So I can deliver that stronger uh, damage. Enemy struck by a guardian. Social police are burning. All guardians recover some health. And enemy struck by a guardian's heavy attack are shot. I'd rather hit them with a, yeah, we're gonna heavy attack one with a special attack. Buzz, 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 like you're the rescue. Wait, these don't carry over the dungeon. Oh, 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 dang it. Oh, 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 even though I'm not sure it will get hard enough to stop me with my current team, it still gets progressively harder. Like at least the battles last a little longer. <laughs> Let's see, y'all. Working the same team. Like I said, I got a squad that I like, and I'm sticking with them. When I first started playing, uh, I really enjoyed Merida because Merida is one of my, she's like my top three favorite Disney princess. Big boy, he was a big chunkums. He was coming too. Chunkum, chunkum, chunkum. Guardian, the special ability cooldowns are reduced, gain focus, gain attack, gain that attack. We're going to come beat you up, my lady. I'm sorry in advance. But you leave. We got to do what we got to do. Hit it with that turnaround. And know that every time they try to do a little power up, I uh, try my best to get behind them. And he hit Wham! Because if, you can, if I can once again get behind them while they're doing a charge up for their special or they um, heavy. I get a nicer bonus for it as well, and I get a uh, like a 50% or 30 or 50% chance to hit him with a stun too for like two two seconds. So I want to try to whoo, whoo, dash behind him. All right, who is this going to need? Who am I? Re who am I required to use on this? Must have Anna. I do have Anna, but she is very much. Oh, she's on level nine though. Hmm. Let's see. Let us see. Let's 
so, okay, so my Anna's was gonna be a one stop. Wait, no, where's she at? Oh, did I pass her? Pretty sure I passed her. No, no, I did not. I thought I have Anna. Hmm. It would appear that I do not. Yeah, there she goes right there. Oh wait, she's the new one. She just dropped. Well, she didn't just drop, but she's the one that was like being advertised right now. Like, yeah, that's why she looked familiar. <laughs> yeah, I did have her, but no, no, you don't. No, you don't, Mr. Hack Bro. No, you don't. All right, let's go kick some Disney. Turkish. <laughs> Hi, there's a tornado, mister. Were you the tornado all along? Okay, then. Let me show you. Go back to the shock one again. The shock one. The showstopper. If you know. Oh, there we go. Boom. Or is this next one a boss? I'm about to find out. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. And this one, yeah, one more in damn boss. This one probably need her sister. Oh no, must have Buzz. And I do not have Buzz. That would make sense. He's he's the one who's, who's been narrating. See, if I would have been watching the story and whatnot, I probably would have been following along and been able to properly assume who the, 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 the bonus ones were. But, you know. Sarah, Sarah. All right, let's go do this thing. I like the sound effect on this one. Man, that was good. Get out of there and get out of there, that was Like sometimes the computer, man. Ugh. This is one of those games that multiplayer, if if it is or will be a thing, will be fun though. And so you can have your friends control another two characters and it's really like a teamwork thing because everyone's dodging out of the way of the special ability at the right time and then coming in to charge up perfect time and whatnot. It's going to be fun. I think that's one of the reasons I like this game so much because I see the potential and its multiplayer um, component. I think that's why I like it so much. And it's just fun as it is already as well. I'm a fan of games that you don't just hold down one button. Kobe. Actually, it was more like a cross up. Let's see the crossover. Noise, noise, noise. Alright. Now we are at the boss. Boss Mama Elsa. Hmm, boss Mama Anna. Jeez. Know your stars. Know your stars. 
Turn the left from all of that. Alright, each of those basic attacks has a 25% chance to inflict her target with a burn shag with dang. For six seconds and it's facing her type. Jeez. After holding the heavy attack for one second in the game, I was to get back. <laughs> oh my goodness! For holding heavy attack, Anna cannot be knocked back by any heavy attack in games. Jeez, okay. I know knock, knockbacks are in the same circle that I have. Have to inflict each enemy hit with a burn. See, this is gonna be annoying because of how the computer plays. Like, I'm going to be out of there. I won't be in the circle when she goes to do that crazy stuff. But the computer, the computer character, they're gonna be all in her face, getting getting toe up from the flow up. I don't know. I want to hear it. We're coming in. You know what, I'm not even gonna, we're gonna just take you right out, coach. <laughs> we're gonna have, have big of a difference, but hopefully it's big enough difference. And I think for the initial encounter, I'll control Aladdin and then for encounter two. Oh my God. So we get to power up here. We're gonna ah oh, should have actually kind of started with the cooldown reduction. Cause she's probably more likely immune to all that stuff. That was that was only That was real nice. That was real nice. That was real nice. I was I was scared of her for a second because uh, what I didn't want to do, I ended up personally doing, which was constantly getting hit by her strong attack. Um, but thankfully, it, the chance to burn me, it didn't actually burn me or all those other status effects. And if it did, it wasn't enough to actually take me out while I was taking her out. So that's good. That's awesome. And then we got a bunch of things we can unlock. Let's go ahead and snatch all this stuff up now. And go ahead and take those and take those and take those as well. Oh, those two. Nice. Okay, let's see how much do we get from that. Ain't enough to get anything else. 3,000. Oh, 3,500 of them. So, you know, we're getting pretty close to another fame crystal. So, that'll be cool. That'll be cool, because I definitely do think that's what I will be purchasing, is more fame crystals. Those stuff's cool too, but I want to get a, I want to get my genie at least to three stars, so that I don't have to buy him. <laughs> that was me. Another look through here before I... Yeah, that's nice, man. That was nice. That was a nice little run. That was a nice little show-off session of uh, this cool little game here. 
you know it's available on android and ios free to play as a mug as you as you can see i'm level 17 and i have not spent a single coin yet i have not spent a single dollar on this game uh i've been playing for 12 games i've been more tempted to spend money once just because there's a character i want and not because i feel like i've needed to to level up or to level up quick enough to be able to have fun playing the game yes there have been definite 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 instances of having to sit here and wait to be able to play again because like a lot of free to play games you get an energy bar and once the energy bar depletes you have to wait until your energy bar recharges unless you're you know that fiend out and really need to keep playing so you want to spend money on recharging yourself you don't have to you know um there's a lot of opportunities in this game to get recharge potions so if you want to just keep playing and playing and playing there's a lot of opportunities to get recharge potions there's a lot that needs to be like leveled up so there's a lot of different currencies and whatnot like for instance right now this event i get uh i get green currencies which is for my um my support class you know uh there's just all these different things that I didn't even slightly touch in on. I literally just showed you guys some gameplay, showed you guys a few characters, showed you guys a little bit of... I showed you guys the surface, for the most part, just the surface. Just to show you that there are some mobile games out here that are awesome, fun, engaging, and great, that are free to play. That are that that the paywall may be there, but not knit really, you know... One thing you gotta understand about free to, one thing you have to understand about mobile games and free to play games especially, especially these ones that have these gatch systems that you think, oh there's a paywall or oh it's repetitive or what this and that. It's a mobile game. You know, there's thirty plus characters to play with. They want you to try to play with them all. So there is no paywall there for you to progress. The point is for you to keep playing the same levels over and over with different characters. Because each character has a unique and fun feel to it, and it makes the experience that much more fun when you continuously grind back and forth to try to level these individual characters up. And while you're leveling all these characters up, doing the grind, you're progressively getting further and further into the game. You know, so it's designed to be a grind fest. No one complains when they play the same type of, you know, first person shooter or sports simulator or a game that is literal repetition that they spent actual money on. But get a free to play game that's on mobile and somehow repetition is a problem. It's it's the it's nature of video games and mobile games doing it in a way that's actually quite enjoyable if you sit down and really think about what it is that you're putting in your hand to try to enjoy playing. Nine times out of ten, once you get over the the um the uh fake stigma of trash in mobile games and the gacha system and the loot system and realize that that's in all games especially games you pay actual literal money for on consoles you'll realize that a lot of these mobile games are really freaking fun so with that being said be sure to look out for more mobile android and ios games on born to play other than that super hackers this was a fantastic fun and wonderful experience until the next time this has been the born to play lounge born to play disney mirrorverse with i the super hack bro alexander bite peace chicken grease love you all have a fantastic day and amazing life super hackers the super hack bro out